Hello viewers, Mezcal here. What you're looking at there is the uh, ionising uh, component in an ozone generating device. The device was made for sterilising dummies and toothbrushes and things of the like. At the moment we've got HHO gas going onto that and being ionised and then it comes out of that and you can hear from that that, that is not a bang it's not a sharp crack that is ionised gas Here's my uh, oscilloscope. You can get these off eBay for about 89 bucks. Um, good little thing. Get one if you've got the money. Ionize is running. Making gas. Does it go bang? It goes fluff. This is what Maya spoke about in changing the burn rate of the fuel. Hello viewers, Miss Cal here. I had a bit of a mishap the other night. I just thought I'd fill you in on what's going on, where I'm at. I had this producing gas running through the ionisation chamber. Um, In there, I don't know if you can show. Peel that open. You can see that small ionisation unit that I've been using, and I put it in a clear bottle to show you guys the thing actually doing its job. However, this unit here that runs the ionisation has a timer. The timer turned off. Gas was still coming through. Uh, it filled up this tube here. The tube goes to a metre long pipe which I was going to use as a uh, flame speed test. And the unit turned off. It filled everything up with gas. I came back on, turned the ionising on and the whole thing went bang. So <clears throat> if you're thinking of trying this process on the gas, probably not the best idea. The bang was so loud it, it was like a slap in the face and my ears just, I didn't even register the bang, it just made my ears ring instantly and I was deaf for about two minutes so yeah. Um, since that seems to be dangerous, uh, <coughs> the next approach I'm trying is to ionise the air that is being mixed with the uh, with the gas instead of ionising the gas itself. Now this thing here that I'm this contraption I'm building that is uh, this unit came out of a Philips air cleaning system that had a filter and an ioniser. And that's the ionising unit. There's your high voltage. It's 240 in. I don't know how many volts coming out. And so we will use a pump to pull air through this uh, and we'll mix that with the gas and see if we can slow the burn rate. Also, speaking of non-combustible gases, um, I've got some argon um, and that's... Uh, we're going to use this to try to make some magnetised gas.
far from perfect, but for the proof of concept it should do. In an attempt to uh, validate Stanley Myers' claim of being able to make magnetised gas, following everything along, I have argon. The argon comes through this tube here. There's a spark gap there with uh, two neodymium magnets and hopefully that material will be vaporised and then travels out here and there needs to be a uh, strong magnetic field here which I'll use some very large neos. Uh, I'll just show you it working. Give you an idea of what's going on. Oh, that wasn't good. That was fun. I didn't have the spark cap wire attached, so that bang you heard was those caps discharging from um, terminal to terminal. Let's try again. So from here we will put a lid on that to contain the gas and vapour. Uh, plumb some holes into this tube and feed from there into the tube to fill the tube up and then uh, try and fill the tube up. Okay, so where we're at at this point in time, um, I've run out of argon. At least I think I've run out of argon. It says um, chair weight 1120 grams and I've weighed it and it says 1148. And I'm not sure if I've ruined the valve by leaning on it with my makeshift um, nozzle here. Uh, I've sampled some gas and I've put it in this tube and I put the um, tube inside this coil and moved it back and forwards to see if there was any um, AC voltage registering on the multimeter. I didn't see anything there. Also, while I was running the gas through the system, the neo magnets on there and also on there, uh, I had this other coil here, you can see the tube runs through the center. I had that hooked up to the multimeter to see if there was any AC voltage there. I didn't see anything there. Um, I've just run out of gas trying to fill this tire tube up to see if I could use that as a um, closed loop non-magnetic conduit. Um, and what was the other thing? Um, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. There was one other thing. I coiled up this while the gas was being uh, run through the system and put the uh, compass there to see if there was any deflection on the needle which was uh, no deflection at all. Okay, that's it.